Good parenting involves a great deal of energy, consistency, and routine, which gives children a sense of safety, control, and belonging. More so, it also entails being actively involved in the lives of one's kids. However, it takes good parenting to be a good parent. But more importantly, how do you become a good parent for your children, that they can grow up to be earnestly grateful for? 1. Be a role model to them. One of the signs of a good parent is when your kids look up to you as a role model. However, to look otherwise means you've failed as a parent. Kids are fast learners, they consciously or unconsciously look for an adult to learn from. And that adult is especially you. Yes, they copy and emulate any and everything they see you do, whether good or bad. As a matter of fact, you can't raise good kids without being good yourself. And that begins with acting and behaving in a manner worthy to copy or emulate as a role model to them. How do you behave? How do you treat others? What words or languages do you use on your kids and others? And what do you teach your kids? 2. Show them love and respect. Kids need parents who not only know how to love, but also respect them. Yes, respect is not only limited to the adults, even kids are supposed to be respected as well. However, how faultless and disrespectfully we speak to our kids these days simply because they are just kids. But we often forget that they learn from, and pick up every inch of our actions and words. A good parent genuinely loves their kids. And you can show that you love your kids by caring for them, supporting them, protecting them, and also showing that you want what's best for them, by providing for them, advising them, giving them education, medical care, safety, supervision, and control. More so, you can show that you respect them by regarding their person, opinions, decisions, thoughts, ideas, and not also making them feel inferior, useless, unimportant, or like a nobody. 3. Prioritize communication. Communication is the lifeblood of any relationship, especially a parent-child relationship. Most parents have no idea who their kids really are because of lack of communication. Yes, you can't know your kids really well without conversing with them. As a matter of fact, there can be no knowledge without communication. And without knowledge, there can be no understanding. Thus, communication begets knowledge, and knowledge begets understanding. That is, understanding of who your kids are, what they individually want and need, and their utmost deepest desires. How much do you know about your own kid? And how much does your kid know about you? The sad reality is that it's a big blow when parents are ignorant about who their kids really are, and kids are ignorant about who their parents really are. And I'm sure that you wouldn't want that to happen. 4. Make time for your kids. I grew up without enjoying the pleasure of parents-child conversation or making time. I bottled up my feelings and frustration all on the inside because I had no one to turn to as my confidant. In short, I became my own listener and confidant. And this negatively affected my growing up because it was really rough and tough. Even if I had had someone else listen to me or act as my confidant, those feelings wouldn't be the same as having my own parents in that position. You can't claim to love your kids and prioritize communication when you don't make time for them. Making time for your kids makes them feel important and gives them safety and a sense of belonging. Kids want to be listened to, they want to pour out their feelings, they want to seek advice, and they want to have someone fill in the place of a most trusted and reliable and dependable companion. And parents are most suitable for that position. Do you make time for your kids? If yes, then how often? If not, then I hope you can begin to take the effort of making time for your kids so they can begin to feel your presence, recognize the significant nature of your means, learn from you, and be impacted by you. 5. Exercise patience towards them. Kids need good parents who know how to exercise patience. As a matter of fact, it's not every situation you must react to. In fact, you must learn to restrain yourself sometimes, and just overlook some things. Thus, you must know when to react and when to hold back. More so, you must also know when to flog your kids with a cane, and when to flog them with words, by advising, correcting, or instructing them. How patient are you towards your kids? Or do you react to everything they do and say without restraint? Do you even have tolerance, and the ability to overlook minors? And last, but not the least, 6. Learn to take responsibility. As a role model to your kid, you can never raise a responsible kid without first being responsible to yourself and to your kid. Yes, kids need parents who know how to take responsibility without shame. 
and part of taking responsibility is saying sorry when you are wrong, and thank you whenever a situation calls for it without hesitation. Sadly, some parents are too full of themselves to say sorry to their kids, even when they know they are at fault. Too bad a thing. Truth is, these are bad parents kids can ever have. How often do you tell your kids sorry when you offend them, or thank you whenever it calls for it? As a parent, never hesitate to do this, because your kids pick up from any and everything you do. I guess you wouldn't want them to pick up what would be dangerous to their bright futures. However, be sure that some of these can be simple and easy, and others may be hard and impossible to do. But if you set your heart to do them, you will notice that nothing is impossible. And I pray you become the best parents your kids can grow up to be forever grateful for. Importantly, what is your take home from this video? What serves as an eye-opener for you? What do you like to contribute? Answer below in the comments box. Many thanks for watching. However, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the like button so this video can spread to more people. And also click at the bell, and turn on the notification. Remember, we love you.